Hello once again, people of fine music land. <laughs> this is episode 182. I'm getting self-indulgent already. It was happening at the end of Screaming Jay Hawkins in 181. Because uh, I really like that song. I put a spell on you. you know? Yeah, it's just somebody was mentioning that they don't have to buy uh, their music because they can hear it from start to finish in their head. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's true. Maybe it is, but as you know, I, I'm the guy who depends on buying what I like. At least I try so very hard. And uh, it's been a little skimpy lately, so I thought I would uh, try something WWJD. What would Jim do? <laughs> right? So it hit me, random word generator. Uh, I had a few of their albums. No, that's not a group. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Vander generator. something generator? Well, no, that's Vandergraph generator. Yeah, yeah, but I'm random word generator. Oh, random. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, bring up the old screen share what happened on my uh, media player when I entered the word morning. This is what happened 124 songs. It's too much. But what I will do. I'll point out a precious few that uh, you know, are finds. Leave it at that. And then you speed readers out there can enjoy the stuff everybody knows. All right. I'm going to change my settings to try to get into some trouble. I'm being able to share sound. There I go. And right away, I head right over to Aleph. Play a snip of them. So this is a good album. Oh, play single song. See if this works. Can you hear it? Yes. Yeah. Four minutes and 17 seconds of morning. Okay, I think we should stop there. <laughs> That's really going. Yeah, so I like that. Now we get to whiz past the names people know. Now, this is one I talked about recently. I can never pronounce it, though. Anugama? I don't know. But Anugama, New Age, okay? Disregard what's being downloaded, because I downloaded from strange sources because he's not available in normal sources. You have to go to Europe to find his music. And a uh, whole bunch of morning going on there. That must be a hip word in New Age land, right? <laughs> Tropical morning, morning glory, morning breeze. Uh, as I recall, morning breeze was pretty good, actually. Let's take morning breeze two for a second. See what happens. So tranquil, so peaceful. What's well, good stuff if you're in the mood for it? Need escape from your bills? <laughs> Tired of your next door neighbor? Put in a little new gamma, and your worries will wash away. Okay, try a few more. Uh, Skip Bad Company, although that song, Morning Sun, was originally a song he wrote when he was a member of Free. So there's a version by Free also. That's kind of interesting. Uh, you might have heard a band called Bad Finger. Sweet Tuesday Morning is one of their lesser known cuts. Have you heard it? No. You haven't? Oh, nope. got to play a snip of it. 
It's a decent song. It's a little different. It's not upbeat. Of course, this is Apple Records, man. I could get in major trouble. I should play the shortest possible snip. But you know, impeccable production. Sweet Tuesday morning. Okay. If you like Bad Finger, you'll like that. All right. Was this Billie Holiday? Anybody heard her? Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, Heartache. Anybody know that song? Yeah. I, I Good song? It. Yeah. All right. I'll move along then. I'm not a fan of the Black Crows. I just uh, bought that for favored somebody else wanted a recording of it. And uh, I liked a few songs. You know, this is their like greatest hits. Any Black Crows fans out there? Yeah. I like the Black Crows. Yeah. Yep. Oh, this next one. Well, man, everybody should know this. Meet me in the morning. Ooh. Oh, this is his best album, Blood on the Tracks, Far and Away. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of gentle. Have you heard it? Yes. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I'm, talking to the, I'm talking to the people that lived it. It's the only time Rolling Stone dedicated the whole album review section of their magazine to one album. Wow. So over 26 reviewers reviewed Blood on the Tracks. Wow. Yeah, well, justifiably so. Have you heard the original version? Because, you know, the he had to change versions, right? Because initially the record label didn't take it. So he re-recorded it, and that's what we've all heard. Yeah. Uh, there's that song everybody knows, the one based on the hymn written by somebody 400 years ago, Morning is Broken. Cat Stevens Girl. getting all the credit now. Harold and Maude. Did you see that movie? It's just a remake. Yeah, yeah. It's one of my top 30 movies. Yeah, it's uh, Cat Stevens does the whole soundtrack. Yeah, it's just up and down. Backwards and forwards, yeah. Yep. It's awesome. Yep. Uh, skip Chicago 3. Most people do. <laughs> Country Lane. How's that for a name for a group? That no one's ever heard of in the morning sun let's see if just a snip of that will attract anybody I keep thinking they're going to launch into Dear Prudence. That sounds exactly like that, huh? Yeah, doesn't it? Oh. Good stuff, Country Lane. There's another one I've talked about recently, Creative Rock. With a name like Creative Rock, what else can you expect but this? <laughs> a slow fade in. And it's the second song on the album. Usually that happens on the first song on an album. Of course, that cover didn't win them any favors. People thought the name of the group was Gorilla. Because the word Gorilla is much larger than the words Creative Rock. Maybe they wanted that confusion. It's just dummies. Is he trying to be like Jim Morrison? A plaintive ballad. A horseman's morning song. Okay. Now, Earth. I've always loved them. They didn't make too many albums, though. But this is that sub-pop sound. Loud, soft, loud, soft. And they were really good at it. Uh, Explosions in the Sky, they're the most famous ones to have that sound. You guys are a close second. Ah, but I won't make you endure that right now. Somebody introduced me to Everhard Weber. I think it's the guy that's below me on this screen. That guy. Yeah. Thank you for introducing me to him. Yeah, he's an incredible artist. You want to play a snip or move on? Play a snip. snip. <gasps> uh, which one do you want to hear? 
the well, following morning. We got to keep with I'd our play one of those EMC records would go after you, maybe. Okay, let's try it. I'm ready to be gone after. <laughs> the following morning, keeping with our theme here on a Monday morning. <sighs> What's the deal? It's the third track and it nothing happening. There we go. Ooh, that one took a long time to get going. Yeah, I never thought of him as new age, but I think I'll get in too much trouble for that snip. Uh, just the kind of tidbits you learn when you're a musicologist. I mean, uh, The Firm, you might have heard of them. That's that uh, attempt by Paul Rogers to save Jimmy Page from going down the rabbit hole after uh, John Bonham died. And uh, so they need enough material to play at a concert, right? So he just took some of his solo stuff and the morning after is one of his solo songs. And Jimmy paged it, right? Put page on guitar. Uh, some band called Fleetwood Mac. Never heard of them. <laughs> some band called Free. Man, they should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's uh, one of their slow songs. Morning said morning. They covered both bases for Jim. Morning and morning. Um, early morning rain. Hey, there's a classic. You know that one? Gordon Lightfoot? Yeah. That's a classic. That must be one of his first hits because it's number one in the greatest hits album. Isn't that the song that sunk the Edmund Fitzgerald? Sunk it? <laughs> sunk the boat, right? Okay. Okay, maybe I, not. <laughs> I'm backing up. I'm backing up. Early morning rain sunk the Edmund. Okay. I don't know, man. You guys know. I don't know. Joke. It's a joke. <laughs> yeah. Just a joke. Okay. Yeah. Spectral Mornings is a lovely instrumental song by Steve Hackett after he left Genesis. And so, of course, when Guitar made their one album with uh, Steve Hackett and Steve Howe, they needed more material to do a concert. So each of them got to do their solo bits. So he did Spectral Mornings because that's by far his best solo song. Uh, I think it was Murray introduced me to House of Fire. Quite good. We'll play a snip of that. Can you stand it? The morning light. Let's see. I think I'm going to be sad. Take it to ride right there. I think it's today. Okay, so that was some good stuff. Thank you, Murray. I'm halfway through almost. I'm going to stop halfway. Jade Warrior, I've, I've loved them for a long time. Uh, I ended up buying more of their catalog. At first, I bought only the instrumental stuff, and then they have a few albums with vocals. I bought those as well. So I just uh, like them a lot. They're kind of hard to describe, but I won't describe them. Some guy named Jeff Beck, never heard of him. Jefferson Airplane, who the hell are they? Johnny Cash, what a strange name. <laughs> John Anderson, God, yes, God help us all. Joni Mitchell, what's with that? Chelsea, there's a word that people don't pronounce right when they see it for the first time. Now, Carthago from New York. Yeah, let's have a little morning surprise before this is all over. It's a good band. Another one of those good bands that nobody knows. Makes me want to be Max Headroom. Introduce him to the world. <laughs> Take a look around and open my eyes now. There's a world waiting to see. I 
dig them. Some radical bongos. Prong bin. You heard of Prong bin? Nope. Prong bin is a band that, uh, a trio. And uh, two of them wear wigs. The other guy's bald. <laughs> and uh, so the, the guy, really good guitar player, and the girl, uh, it's hard to, it's a competition between her beauty and the bass that she plays. So uh, I recommend buying the record, not watching the videos, because you might be a little distracted. <laughs> yeah, but it's a good problem. And of course, the drummer, big bald dude, and he lays down a mellow groove. So if you've never heard them, you never heard them? Nope. Then I'm going to play you a snip of Friday morning. Cool. You'll see right away that they are basically instrumental. Oh, yeah, they're mellow. Good music to go to the restroom by. Oh man, I lost both guys. I better finish. <laughs> I'm boring, my, even my co hosts. All right. Uh, yeah, we were hitting them anyway. So I'm halfway through the list, and hopefully, you found something of interest along the way. This is what I do when I haven't anything new to listen to. I'll just rehash my collection, see if uh, a song maybe I overlooked, right? Something oh, I you're... recommend. That's a right. That's right. Everybody steps out during Krong Bin. <laughs> Music to go to the head by. <laughs> but I mean, they're, they're one trick pony, but they're a good one trick pony. Yeah. Leave it at that. Okay. Everybody all right? Hopefully you don't get too yeah. wet here in cold Southern California, where it goes yep. way down to 44 degrees. Ooh. 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 Chilly, chilly. <laughs>